All right, guys, I am going to do a, um, I'll just say one of these. I'm going to do a twin flame reading. I'm just like feeling very like connected to energy right now. So I'm just going to do a quick twin flame reading and see what is going on with twins in separation right now. Okay. I'm going to start off using this good tarot. <clears throat> Tower just came out. Okay. So I feel like the feeling I'm getting is some of you who, let's say you're a feminine, Two of Wands here, the Tower. I'll show you the Two of Wands. Um, I feel like there has been a moment, a pivotal moment, a shift. Um, might have been a breakup. The Two of Wands, I feel like, I don't know why, I usually don't interpret it like this, but two people... Um, having sort of like a lot of passion, but maybe a fight with that tower or, um, someone had to choose between two people and they decided to break something off with one person. This messenger of water is, um, hmm, it's a romantic attraction, um, Romantic offering, kind of like a page of cups, six of swords here. I feel like there's going to be movement away from something into a calmer place and hangman, okay? So this is all, um, I feel like uh, there's a lot of Pisces energy here. There's a lot of water energy, uh, Scorpio, um, Cancer, Pisces. But specifically Pisces with that hangman, I feel like someone's really having to surrender to maybe the connection that they feel for you or um, just the, the, the connection that you guys have. And they are realizing that they have to really rearrange everything in their life for this. Six, there are two sixes here, so six of pentacles. Someone is getting to a point where they want... Um, more reciprocity balance they want to follow their heart with this nine of cups what it is that they really want they're really getting in touch with that and they're not really able I feel like to ignore this like thing that's been gnawing at them for a long while because I feel like with this nine of swords they've had a lot of anxiety because they know that the path that they've been on hasn't been really true to themselves so I feel like there's a lot of surrendering going on here and somebody has really decided to shake things up a little bit by being more authentic is the feeling I'm getting let's see we got yeah there's a lot of like heaviness burden of carrying this I feel like someone's been carrying like a secret like maybe they were with someone and they've had feelings for you and they're they're just tired of like trying to keep carrying this burden of this all these emotions and passions that they feel that they haven't been following queen of wands so i feel like they see you as the queen of wands they see you as they're very there's a lot of attraction here they're seeing that you're really independent they're seeing that with the connection with you you've kind of been doing your own thing and you've made them you've like caught their eye because you haven't been really putting yourself out there with them i feel like they with the judgment reversed here they feel like they made a bad judgment call in the past about who you were and they're starting to see you more accurately <laughs> yep with this four of cups reversed i feel like they um they rejected you and now they're kind of looking back at it like what was i doing like this was like the person i really wanted and i i like made this call and now i'm kind of stuck yep <laughs> the nine of swords is here but it's reversed so that's confirmation i feel like there's been a lot of anxiety about this so um one more card from the radiant radiant i always say that radiant rider weight deck <clears throat> um i feel like they also are kind of stuck maybe in a codependent relationship or in the past 
they didn't see you as this independent person that they're starting to see you as but i feel like now they're really like having a different perspective on things i'm pulling from this pythia botanica oracle deck to see what oracle messages i have for you guys love's will wow and this is the cosmos <laughs> moonflower these are cards that are tea stained but they're also the essences of these flowers that hold these specific energies so we got poised stardust and love's will and the flowers are moonflower and cosmos that's really cool so i'm gonna read what it says about the poised stardust I never got that one before, actually. I never got either of those. Moon, flower, and cosmos. It's so cool because we just had the moon, the full moon, and we got the moon flower. Mm -mm -mm. Might take me a minute. I'm going through the book. Okay, so poised stardust. It says cosmos is poised stardust, a sweeping call for balance. We had the six of pentacles. In spite of appearances, there is always symmetry from the smallest certain cell to the most vaporous of worry, be daunted by disorder and then enraptured by its antithesis. So I feel like this is saying with the tower that things kind of had to fall apart to become more balanced. I feel like things had to get shaken up because through that chaos, you find order. And it says, Moonflower is love's will, a card that finds you beholden to romantic enchantment. Given to the gravity of love, absorb its kinetic energy and waltz upon the orbit of your satellite i feel like there's a lot of um romantic energy here so that's with the um messenger of, of cups this definite like romantic energy so i feel like if you're wondering how your counterpart feels i feel like they have a lot of romantic feelings for you right now and they're seeing you in a really positive light i feel like but there's also a lot of heaviness because there might be a lot of barriers to connecting with you the way they want to so i'm going to pull from the goddess guidance oracle deck wow that's not cool because it almost hit the fairness there's a lot of like libra energy here like balance fairness justice karma um this situation will be handled in a fair and just manner okay um start delegating ask others to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself Okay, so this is about kind of collaborating. I feel like that's collaborating with the universe too, you know, like trusting the universe, the energies around you and stop feeling like you're alone because you're being supported and fate is guiding you and um, you're, you're, you're walking hand in hand with the universe. You're not here by yourself. You're being divinely guided. So trust that. That's how I see that and independent yeah because i told you guys nine of pentacles was reversed before your independence is a foundation for your strength and success i really feel like the more independent you are the more you show your counterpart how independent you are and you know give them space the more they will respect you and feel this connection to you because i feel like in the past they felt um quite um like there was a codependent energy there. So I'm gonna pull from one more, the moon child tarot, and see what we got here, okay? I haven't used these cards in a minute. Page of Cups, again, definite Pisces energy here, also definite offering of love. I feel like someone might send you a text, an email, um, just like some kind of romantic gesture, like the beginning of a romance, okay? So a lot of Page of Cups energy here, walking into like a new, a new experience of love with this person. Ace of Wands, there's a lot of passion here, you guys, this is really consistent, this reading, okay? And the lovers, oh my god, this is just insane, love energy on fire here, guys, okay? So I don't really even need to say anything more. Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini, but we've got a lot of love here, okay? And at the bottom of this deck is two of pentacles reversed, which I had the two of wands reversed. So I feel like whoever was juggling two people making a decision, especially with the lovers as well, the, a decision is going to be made, okay? So 
lots of love, lots of energy, lots of passion. Um, that's what I have for you guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.